Did you take in uh, any of the WrestleMania over the weekend? Are you serious? Yes. I, man, come on, man. I uh, I loved it. I loved it. Night one, good. Night two, epic. I thoroughly enjoyed the ending. I thought, I mean, Cody is the second time facing Roman, so mm-hmm. it felt like it was right. It felt right, and I'm happy. Uh, I'm happy about it. I, I love Roman. Roman's probably he's 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 the goat. He's the goat, mm-hmm. and uh, I'm happy that um, Cody finally beat him. I also love the uh, Gunther match. That was that was amazing. TJ was Gunther. there. He was, he went to Philly. You were in Philly? Yeah, I was there both nights. Yeah. You were, was the first night cold as hell. It was about. 49, 50 degrees. Oh, yeah, it was man. it was free. I felt bad for them. They had heat lamp lamps above the. Who would you feel bad for? Just the wrestlers. They're out there basically in their underwear. Yes. Right. And I'm out there with a long sleeve shirt, a t shirt, a jacket, a hat, a scarf. Yeah. Some socks, you know. And they're out there. My in gosh, the you were you, you were all I mean? you were all bundled up, huh? Oh yeah, yeah. Did you, did you see the seat that he's got next to him right there too? I do. He brought it back. Oh. He checked that. He checked that as a, a checked baggage. Yeah, this, this was a whole thing in the airport. But the ladies there in Philly, they were very nice. They made sure that uh, Philly was nice to you. Well, the ladies at the airport <laughs> were nice. Too. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. They, they made sure. I was like, when we ra- we had this thing all wrapped up, and I was like, let me look at it because I think this is the last time I'll see it. And the lady was like, no, baby, you gonna get your chair back. So you are so lucky, yeah, dude. I did, yeah. Man, but, he That's also awesome. didn't, he also told nobody he was a cowboy fan, so he got. The- <laughs> Yeah, walk, he kept that under wraps. Like the of Eagle like Stadium chair. around all that. And just like, yeah, how are you? F- I didn't ask you about that. Yeah, you... I just, I put my head down and I walked. I, 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 I'll know? tell you what I told him yesterday mm-hmm. is, I, again, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, not that, you know, diehard or where I'm into every aspect of wrestling, but I, I see enough to pick up on, mm-hmm. on things. Uh, I, I have a problem with The Rock being a heel. <laughs> again, you do? I do. That's how we. Because like, I thought started, he's turned but... a page. I know how he started. Oh. Then he, then he, then he turned into you know Hollywood Rock. Yeah, I or mean, no, it, then it he turned was, into uh, Nation the of Domination rock. rock. Yeah, yeah, right. I mean, uh, again, I've got a ten-year-old daughter at home, as I Corporate told you. Rock. We, we've seen, we've seen uh, Moana multiple times. I hear you. I get it. I get it. You know, like, the that's rock. the Rock. I get it. That's you know your what Rock. I mean? That's I get my it. Rock. But he has more fun being a bad guy. Yeah. You can tell. And by he the way, it's it. the fans' fault, Jermaine. Like they could have cheered him. The they, Cody Crybabies came out. That's true. So that's he true. Had, he had to pivot, much like you pivot, Rich, here on the show <laughs> without writers or teleprompters. I'm not a, he, I don't play a heel, pivoted, though. And he turned to the heel. You're not enjoying this rock yeah. right now? I don't. What? I don't like it. Why? I want him to be very likable. He's and I don't. But it is likable. I think it's very likable. That's the rock I grew Look up with. Him. So that's where yeah. I, I get it. I understand, though. I understand. But this is the rock I remember. And it is. It is. It feels like I'm back in the attitude era. So were you? Boss. Were you disturbed by him being become <laughs> being a nice guy then? Um, like, were you thrown off by him being the guy who, you know, jokes around with Kevin Hart and sings songs well, for was, Disney movies? Because when he left, he was he was still a bad guy when he left, and he did some movies and the movies. Yeah. Were, uh, listen, uh, uh, what was it? The one with um, Sean William Scott that he did in Brazil. Oh, right. Oh, Rundown. 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 Rundown's one of my favorite action movies. So when he did that, I just, you know, all the good guy stuff, like, it just, it didn't matter because the movies are so good. So, like, he came back. He was good guy rock, you know, telling the audience how much he loves him, how much he misses him. Right. And then after Cody and him had the feud and they had to pivot, uh, it makes sense. You kind of got to go with the crowd. That's what that's that's what a smart wrestler kind of does. And he knows the business better than anybody. So I thought what he did was very smart. And on top of that, him telling Arizona to go smoke some crack was one of my favorite, <laughs> my favorite lines. How hard all. was it when he said it too? He said, he like, said it with three syllables. Crack. Yeah, crack. It was amazing. <laughs> and I play, I replay that clip over because it makes me happy. It is so funny. I've been to Arizona. Yeah. So uh, that was that was cool. <laughs> that was Jermaine, cool. Did you have to see Raw last night? I only saw the clips. I only saw. Uh, what did I see? I saw. Um, I saw the. Uh, I saw Cody's pro. Well. Triple H's promo yeah. that led to Cody's, and it was great. But I missed a lot of the, uh, well, so, the highlights. So yeah. Rock came out, and the fans are booing him. And Rock goes, hey, Philadelphia, you broke another record. And they're like, oh, really? He's like, yeah, you are officially the biggest gathering of trailer park trash I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I've ever seen. <laughs> it is, and they lost it. Oh, it's wonderful. That's all they want. That's what they want. Philly yeah. loves that stuff, man. You want to be, you wanna be uh, insulted by they the They do. Rock. Remember that Bill Burr clip? 
Oh, yeah. Trash and Philly yeah. back yeah. in the day. You know, I don't mind, you know, that, but that's Bill yeah. Burr. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> you expect it. I get it. They that's earned that night. They I'm earned just, it that night. Yeah. But I know, listen, when, when The Rock does it, I, I understand. It's not the same rock you're used to. Yeah. But this is The Rock I am used to, and I'm having a great time. Okay. At, at his heart, mm. at, at his core, The Rock, even when he was a good guy, was a heel. You know, yeah. Well, listen. At some it. point, at some point, people are gonna love you for what they hated you for. You no know, doubt, and yeah. at, at some, he never really changed at all. Only thing that changed about him when he was a good guy was, he was, was him. Yeah, he yeah. just kind of acknowledged the crowd a bit more. Mm. And, you know, just being more of a, a a sweetheart, so to speak, right? More charming. But this I, is a part of his charm too. Being a heel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. How long is the heel gonna last? For him, hopefully for a while. Uh, well, as long as Cody's a good guy. Yeah. Is if and him and Cody are feuding, I think he'll be a heel for as long as that feud goes. Summer, or until maybe Summer Roman. Slam in August. Yeah, we'll take that huh? Summer Slam, Summer Slam right? in August. Who the, knows? It, it, I think coming. he'll pivot either when someone turns on him, kind of like maybe Roman or, or or someone a part of his stable. So I don't know, but I, I this this bad guy thing, it don't really last too long until someone helps you turn. You know, uh, for him it was the audience. But maybe it's me. Can I help him? Yo, Rich in the Rock? Yeah. Jermaine, Yo, I'm trying you to tell Rich he, needs, he needs a Versace vest and some shades, man. Like, Yo, nah, come let's on. get you some Versace, dude. I, I'm, <laughs> well, I mean, that sounds good. Hey, look, I'm um, taking this jacket. I'm getting you a Versace, <laughs> Versace wow, vest. A That's trade. a deal. <laughs> That's a deal. Has Dwayne been here on the show? No, uh, he is nah. not. What? He, he probably couldn't fit in his chair anyway. Um, <laughs> hey, That's probably true. Since we're on this... You did Ricky Snicky. What was it like with John Cena? Are you serious? Him? So again, uh, another thing I got to check off my bucket list was doing something with John. I've I love John Cena. Zach Efron, wonderful. Uh, Andrew Santino, hilarious. Like and the uh, William H Macy. Come on, everyone was great. Um, that but was, there was so funny, by the way. Yeah, thank you, Brad. Yeah. It was so good. Thank you very much, man. We had a great time making that joint, yeah. man. And again, shot that in Australia right after this movie, uh, Stink. Okay. Yeah, out in Melbourne. Um, and uh, By John way, you Cena. said that like you're an Aussie. Melbourne? Melbourne? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they'll Melbourne. correct you. I don't know. I'm from New York. I would call it Melbourne, right? They're, yeah, well, Melbourne. they'll correct you with a buck knife in their hand. It's Melbourne. <laughs> and I'm like, all right. Well, then I wouldn't get it wrong again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. But John was great. And uh, I helped him with his promo. He did uh, with um, for the Go Home show last year with Austin Theory. Oh, you helped him with that? Yeah, that was fun, man. Was How'd cool. you help him with that? So we were just yapping about... Um, the scene when I'm in their uh, their workplace okay. when he hired me to oh, right, be right, his right. Uh, attaché, uh, <laughs> uh, we talked about uh, what he was going to do with Awesome Theory, and he was trying to come up with some ideas, and we just workshopped some stuff, and um, I wrote some notes down and uh, kind of a you know some some talking points in my notes section in my phone. I sent it to him, and we. Uh, we went, we went. So what, he used, what line did he use that you were most proud of that, that wound up in the uh, He used most of it, but like the line I'm most proud of was probably him calling Austin Theory that, just a theory of a wrestler. And that blew my mind. And uh, it was so oh, much, gosh. it was, I've always wanted to help like with a, with a program like that, with like some sort of promo. Wow, and cool. it was like, it was cool. Man. You're a factor. Yeah. <laughs> as, the, as we like to say in the sports world, you're a factor. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.